Welcome back to this week's episode of the Pollution Police. I'm your host, Dr. Lena, and today I'm here awaiting the arrival of two renowned pollution experts, Dr. Rubian and Dr. Eleanor, and a concerned citizen, Miss Maraid. Here comes Dr. Rubian right now. She's the leading researcher in the effects of dihydrogen monoxide. Welcome. Thanks for having me, Dr. Lena. I'm very concerned about the high levels of dihydrogen monoxide and their effects on student health. Oh, hello, Dr. Eleanor. Hi. This is my colleague from the EPA. She's an expert on the policies surrounding dihydrogen monoxide levels. Now we're just waiting on our concerned local citizen, Miss Maraid. She's leading the effort against this dangerous pollutant. And here she is now. Hi. It's a Hi, pleasure welcome. to be here. Thank you. Yes, of course. Now let's get down to business. Rubian, what are our major concerns? Dihydrogen monoxide is a serious human health concern. It is very prevalent in our daily lives, yet is often overlooked. It contributes to the greenhouse effect, is the leading cause of erosion, the main component of acid rain, and may cause serious burns upon contact. And now we found this dangerous chemical in the academic building. Where is the pollution coming from? I think it's coming from the fountain. Let's go investigate. non-point pollution. It's coming from everywhere. There is no single source. The pollutant is coming from every sink and fountain in the school. And the lake. It's falling from the sky. It's even in the air. Hello again, fellow environmental enthusiasts. At the beginning of this case study, we believed that it was a source of point pollution, only to find out that it was non-point source pollution. Another example of point and non-point source pollution can be found in pesticide usage in a watershed. You might think that it is only one large-scale farm that is responsible for the pesticides in the water. However, in this case, similar to the case in the school, it is more probable that the pesticides are coming from every single farm in the watershed. Unfortunately, in this episode, we are not able to solve the case because there was not one person responsible. We'll need to talk to everyone in the school to be able to fully investigate this case. It is more difficult to address non-point source pollution than point source pollution. Join us in the next episode, Pollution Police versus the School.